This is Pete Feenster on Tuesday the 11th of February 2014, talking to the legendary Jackie McCauley on my right. And he's got a brand new band, as you can see at the back there, called the Regular Gas Band. And uh, you're going to tell everybody... Oh, let's talk about the show first. The show's called... Uh, from, from then now. until now. From then to now. Career retrospective. We're talking about this for GetReadyToRock.com. Let's talk about the band anyway. Who's okay. in the band? On drums, the Invisible yeah. Man here. Yeah. On drums, Ronnie O'Flynn. Ronnie, Ronnie O'Flynn. Uh, Dermot McQuaid on uh, guitar and violin and Fafty plays a Four multi-instrumentalists. Yeah, yep. Yeah. A hundred things he plays. Yeah. Dermot McQuaid uh, on us guitar. Yeah. Yeah. On bass and on, uh, on keyboards. Yeah. Johnny Conlon. Yeah. Uh, Johnny yeah. Asselt of Sing. Right, we all sing. The whole band sing. Four part harmony. Yeah, fantastic. yeah, yeah. And myself. Yeah. And, and you're playing piano and guitar. I'm doing, I'm, well, going back to the lamp thing. You know, yeah. So the whole idea of this is, Jack, you've been playing 50 odd years and this is a career retrospective and it yeah. pretty much yeah. includes everybody you play with, right? It's going to clear, yeah, it's going to go, go back to way back from the them days, right up until now. New stuff we're doing with this, this outfit. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it's not like a tribute band, the stuff I actually did. Yeah, So uh, and the stories you have with it. Well, yeah, that story is there. I haven't uh, played these songs like Baby Please Don't Go Glory. I haven't played those since the 60s, since the band. I pursued my own career, you see. Yeah, but, absolutely. But now I get, I think, well... Solo and band career. Yeah, yeah, course, yeah, yeah, so... So let's go, let's go through the list just before we... So uh, the, fir the first big one was them, but you played with somebody before that as well. Yeah, well, no, I had a little band before that, oh. uh, and... Uh, I was when we were kids, I was, I think, 17 when I joined them, was yeah. before I was 18. Uh, we used to practice in my, my mum's house, the, the yeah. same room. The old garage band, though. Uh, yeah. It wasn't a garage. Yeah. Um, but uh, it was myself and a wee guy called Dino and Eric Bell. Uh, was that a Dino you worked into one of your songs a few years oh, ago? Oh, that's now. right. Actually, Dino was in, mentioned in yeah. uh, Boys Are Back in Town. Uh, uh, as well. Yeah. yeah. Local but, legend. Yeah, Eric, Eric, uh, Eric, Eric was about, Bell was in that. He was about 16, Eric. Wow. Ah. When I went with them, Eric went off and played a band Belfast, and he went to Skid Row and yeah. 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 yeah, the original yeah. Skid Row. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So then uh, I went off with them, and after them, uh, we actually just a tour up and down the country, uh, an old van, no heater, nothing, you know. No so. change there. No, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, after them, uh, I went and joined, well they started the band called the Belfast Gypsies and went off to And Scandinavia. you recorded with them? Of course. Did one album, Kim Fowler, he's very yeah. young. Yeah, I spoke to Kim about a year ago. Did you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. About the family actually. Yeah, yeah, Kim Fowler produced it. Yeah. Uh, after that I went down to Dublin and I had a flat with uh, Paul Bailey. Wow, we, uh, great song. Right? Yeah, yeah, we said, we're actually good doing one of Paul's songs anyway. Uh, As part of the, uh, yeah, yeah great. it's called Crazy Dreams, so it kind of fits into the... Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we didn't want to pause, but we had a band called The Cult. And, uh, as you with a K? Yes, with a K, that's right. Yeah. But uh, there was a, we used to play in Take Five Club in Dublin. And uh, club, one, but, uh, yeah, a young little, little black fella used to come along to the gigs. Yeah. They watched the band, he was about 15 or 16 at the time, yeah. you know. Uh, it was Phil Lennon. Phil Lennon. So uh, <laughs> it was the first time I met him, he told, wow. told me this story that uh, he used to get in. Underage. Well, they couldn't determine what age he was because he was black. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. So, uh, we're, we're so you, you met him then, all those years ago? Uh, no, I didn't meet him then. Oh, he told me when I, when I met him. Oh, years uh, later, was I met him in, in times, Australia. And I, yeah, I met him, teamed up in Australia. Yeah. Uh, and uh, we're dedicating one to him and oh. Gary Moore, of course. Wow, yeah. All, so, all, all so. these people, some of them people really know, of course, and some of them are lesser known. But it's this continuum and this, this strand that goes through your career. Right, yeah, that's right. Song led, I guess. Yes, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll move on to uh, to uh, seventies. We started with Trader Horn with uh, Judy Dable. Yeah. It was just a two piece. Myself, Fairport Judy. Convention. Judy. From Fairport Convention, yeah, Judy. Uh, we got one album. Judy got married and settled down very right, young. Right, and uh, right. I cut uh, two solo albums after that. Yeah, them. which is still on the catalogue if you look for them, everybody. Yeah, if you look hard enough, you'll find yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, they're out there. Then uh, we moved on from that. Oh, many, many things. But the biggest things were uh, things like Lonnie. Ten of you know, years, when yeah. I, when I, I teamed up with Lonnie in 78, yeah. uh, we, we had a great time going around the world. And I learned, I cut my teeth with Lonnie actually, yeah. I learned stage presentation. I Showmanship. How to, stage well, how to communicate with an audience. Yeah. It pays money. Yeah, it yeah, pay oh, money yeah, yeah. See, yeah. Theatre kind of stuff. So they yeah. have, have their money's worth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I learned from Lonnie. So we get, we've uh, reworked another song for Lonnie. Uh, 
if we were to some, Lenny always told me to do something, he's old to lose things. Do it your own way. Your own way, yeah. own way. So yeah. we're doing this uh, version of Rock Out of Nine. Ah. And then to, to it was all oh, this kind of stuff. And of course, then there's a poor mouth after that. Did a few years with them, some great, great yeah, songs. And got some Todd Bunker was in that band, yeah, just that's told. Yeah, that's, that's right, that's right. Out there. Clyde played with us for a long time. Wow. Before we went off to G3. G3, yeah. Wow. yeah. So we get all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that was but there's many other things, but obviously we haven't got the time, as you see. Yeah. yeah. And then right at the end, you do your up to date stuff, do you? Like Dynamite yeah. Town and stuff well, like yeah, that. Yeah, stuff from the old solo album to do that. And uh, somebody's trying to break in here. New stuff. New stuff. Yeah, you know. Uh, yeah. For, with, with, with the band. Well, yeah, because the, yeah, well, because the band is uh, now become quite harmony focused. Yeah, yeah, full part harmony. Because all the guys are front men. It's almost yeah, West Coast man. sounding at times. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, well, and, and I should say earlier on, we did mention this, but like full part harmonies and for the band, all, all, all the band, in fact, most multi instrumentalists, including the drummer, was actually a bass player. The right? drummer was the bass player. Unbelievable. By trade, yeah. And uh, you got mandolin in there, keyboards. Mandolin, bass, keyboards, organ. organ. I go back to organ when I do when I do the them stuff. Yeah. I do what I was authentically did. So, so I didn't sing. I played. Keyboards, no, no, no. So. And Billy Harrison so, was a guitarist in the yeah, records. That's right. So, so I guess the fact everybody in this band has been in their own band and the the yeah, their, own bands. their own bands. That's yeah. right. So, so they know how to so, so they, present themselves. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And a strong vocal harmony. So, so what everybody wants to know now is are you actually going to record sometime with the regular yeah, guest yeah, band? Yeah, we, we started recording now just before we left. As I said, it's very, very new at the moment. But uh, yeah. I'll be living out and done. In the next couple of months. Great. Right. Well, you've done four four gigs on this tour, and then you're going to come back hopefully in the summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll look out for the album, and it's a uh, great, great band, a regular gas band, and hopefully we'll get a, a few things on YouTube so everybody can check them out. Yeah. It's been Pete Freenstone enjoying a chat with Jackie McCauley. Get ready to rock.com. Thanks very much, and good night.